Hi, welcome to uh, JC's Macro Warehouse video. JC's Micro Warehouse video. Uh, this uh, I've got a, I got a bunch of macros here, and uh, this you'll notice that the area of this right here is 812 square feet, and that number is put into this existing one story 812 square feet. And it's also put into this number right here, 812 square feet. So if I change the size of this thing a little bit, notice this went to 698. This went to 698. And this went to 698. So everything changed. Now what JC wants to do is he wants to put this stuff in a, in a library so he has ready access to it for his uh, template plans. Well, we can't do that yet. So what is the option? I say what we can do is we could just take all these macros that are from whatever plan they're in, uh, control C, control new, put a new plan, uh, six, put them back in place. And I think all those macros are now in here. So existing first four, 698, if I change this and I move it down to here, it's now 499. This is now 499 and, oh, I, I forgot something. Uh, what I forget? I guess I forgot this, tab, control C. Control V. Uh, pull this out like this. I should have. Uh oh, it didn't work. Oh, uh, uh, Control C. Stick it over here. Control V. Uh, what what uh, layer is it on? It's on text plot plan. Turn it on. There it is. And now, and now those have changed too. You see what I'm saying? Uh, they have now changed. So I, I'm just saying that I don't need a library for that. I, I just have a warehouse or an old plan. I just copy from one to another. And now this is untitled. Now I'm back to the template plan that I got this stuff from. And so now I want to use uh, um, what's his name's uh, Perry's little method. And Perry says, "What? Uh, oh, I, I know. Cancel. I want to make up some little macros of my own. So I'll go to CAD." text a uh, text macro management and uh, this is Perry's thing new this new one is going to be um, uh, uh, not siding but uh, space exterior finish one and this is going to be stucco okay New. This is going to be exterior finish two, and this is going to be siding. One more. New space exterior finish three, and this is going to be shakes. Okay. Uh, all right. Fine. Done. So now this is what Perry's going to do. He's going to go, and he's going to go macro, user defined. Notice how the little space puts them all up in front there. Exterior finish one. Okay. Now I do another one. Exterior finish two. Okay. And now he does one more. And this is going to be exterior, exterior finish three. Okay, so so now those are all there, right? And so if I take this and Control C, Control V, I can put another one right there. And that and that ma that is in now in the macros, right? Three ca text. Well, we know it's there. It's weird that they, these things aren't. There. Yeah, they're not. Uh, they're organized differently this way. Uh, it's kind of weird, but anyway. So now I'm just going to take these things, Control C, F6, and see if I can put them in this plan. Because if I come over to here, I don't think they're there. Control V. They're there. I, I think they're there. Now watch what I do. I go Y. This is a brand new plan, right? These these macros haven't been in there. And I come over here and I go uh, User Defined Exterior Finish One. You think that's it? You think it's going to be the right one? There it is, right there. Perfect. Now. Now let's go ahead and go Perry's method and really all my exterior finishes one stucco the, the the client has just changed it they want brick instead they want brick so tools uh, 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 CAD text 
text macro ma management. So I come over to exterior finish one, which is a stucco, and I simply I want to edit that. And so now instead of stucco, it's going to say brick because the client changed their mind. Okay, done. Look at that. Is that so cool? That is just, I mean, that is just, that's the Perry method, man. Now, this will be interesting. Now, suppose I go Control C, Control V, and Control V and put it, put it back here. What do you think I get? Yeah, look at this. It conflicts. All right, anyway, I, 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 I just, this, this thing that Perry came up with is so cool. Because in your plans, how often do you have nodes that refer to the, the roofing? On your roof plan, it's, it's called out as asphalt shingles. And on your elevations, it's called asphalt shingles. And on your sections, it might be asphalt shingles. But doggone it, you made a mistake, and it's really uh, concrete tile. So change the macro concrete tile one time, and it's going to change that material on all those other uh, elevations. So here's my point. I, 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 you, don't have to, you don't have to put these things, you don't have to import, export them, import them. You just copy them from one plan to the other, and they, they go there. Because now, look, I mean, I have, look, if you want a library, you get a library. I don't even know how to export these things. But I just simply export, there they all are, I, as easy as can be. I, I'm done. That's, that's the end of uh, JC's Macro Warehouse video.